Hi everyone, my name's Anthony Cummins. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Japanese tea. By that I don't mean chado, the Japanese tea ceremony. There are two different types. There is what's obviously the um, the tea ceremony used in Japan, which is a famous one. But when you go into people's houses in Japan for a brew and a cup of tea, this is basically the correct way to do it. So what you do, first of all, is you will put some water, hot water, only a tiny bit, inside of the teapot. This is the last of my Japanese tea. So you put some, oh, and it goes, some Japanese tea in, and then you put the lid on. The reason for this is that the hot water steams open the leaves. The leaves will now all steam open, and you leave that for a, for a minute or so to, to, to open them up so they get ready for the flavor. Then what we do is we take the hot water and we fill it up. It soaks through the leaves. There we go. To the next stage. So, okay. Pal, oh, flipping neck. It's taking a load. Right. Now what we do is we leave it there. Right, and once you've let it brew a bit, you know, let it do its thing, you'll find that you array the cups. The person who pours the tea is normally the host, which obviously puts them in a submissive position because they are serving you because you are a guest or it is the person of the lowest social standing if it's at like an office or something like that and what you do is this you pick up the teapot pour it out about halfway stop oh little drip there next one about halfway stop the next one about halfway and stop now what you do now is you do it in reverse. You start with this one. So it goes up. Goes up. Okay. Now, this is the magic bit. That is the socially inferior cup because it gets the weakest tea and then the dregs of the tea. That is the middle social cup, i.e., you know, those people. So if there's four or five, the middle ones are the, you know, for the middle mid-level people. And this one is the highest one because it has the richest amount of proper brewed tea. By the time you get to there, you're only about halfway through. So you mean you're getting the best tea, and then you're using the sec as you pour one, then you pour again, you're actually getting the best section of the tea, not the top, or not the, the earliest bit and not the latest dregs bit. So you go backwards. So this is given then to the highest ranking person. Then you distribute the other teas to the other people. And then the person who poured the tea will take that one. And that's how you serve Japanese tea. And you normally serve it with something sweet. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Anthony Cummins. If you enjoy Japanese culture, just subscribe. And there's plenty more of this stuff to come.